All right, ladies and gents. So, um, here's the deal. We had some real issues, okay? That's okay. Everyone's got issues, but we all had some issues getting this game started. And now the players, after having to restart this game, are freaking out because they started without a TC here. And uh, so that's what they're saying. Now that you all start with Kings, and this is exploding Kings, as we so often do in our community games. But I think there was some panic for them. Yes. And uh, I think they were concerned. Uh, the host messaged me and said, it seemed to indicate that maybe they didn't think that this should be played. But we're playing it all right. And so these kings, they're going to waddle around. Some of the kings waddle more than others. But they're moving. And of course, uh, if you lose your king, you are dead. And the goal is to, of course, be the last king standing. Everyone's allied each other right off the bat here. Uh, and we'll see where things go, but uh, like this right here, dangerous, dangerous times if the TCs are up. You run underneath someone's TC and they can shoot you, uh, they might just kill your king. Then, of course, their whole base would explode, so I think that probably won't happen then. Now, we didn't have... Uh... Ooh, hold on. We have someone talking to me here. Hunter says, hello, T90, I am still afeard. So... We have, we have a people pleaser here, people. We've got someone who's talking specifically to me, which it means to you as well. And we're a couple minutes behind here. Mira is saying, T90 says it's fine, it's on, and we're going to play this game. All right. So I'm going to start with my introductions. It doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of action over here in the east. Everyone seems to be positioned more towards the middle or to the west of the map. But in the very north, we have Reckless Sarge. And Reckless Sarge is known... For being a little bit inexperienced compared to yes. some others, I will say that. But also saying, you just got sarged. Uh, <laughs> it is the most boomer thing to say ever <laughs> if you kill somebody. But I have uh, memories of Sarge killing people and saying, you just got sarged. So keep an eye out for that. Reckless Sarge playing as the Chinese in the north. Um, green is not too far away here. We've got Lieutenant Crackers, Lieutenant Crackers. Mod on the channel, has played in many games before. Seems to always get rigged in, playing here as the Saracens. Uh, in the blue, with quite a horrible town center, I must say, uh, we have Mira. Uh, TC could be worse, of course. Uh, Mira is playing as the Turks. Again, pretty close by. Uh, over uh, on to the west, we have Deadly Cookie 98 playing as the Ethiopians. Also been around a while. In the orange, we have... Oh, God. All right, I'm going to give this a shot. Uh, we have Lutnanti Lapio, which means something in some language. Uh, people can let me know. Playing as the Vikings. Down below orange, then, we have Macy James. Macy James, extremely experienced, has won community games before, is the favorite. I don't know everyone's ELOs, but uh, I know Macy is a very talented player. Yes. Uh, Hunter here is playing as the Franks here in the purple or magenta. Then over here in the gray, we have uh, Liam, a.k.a. Liam, <laughs> which is funny. And gray's in a really good spot because gray is really far from everybody. And gray, ooh. Oh, gray. Oh, okay. You can still know where people are even though you've allied them here in Diplo. That's really good for gray to know. I think that's everybody here. I might have missed one person. I don't think so. But already people are chatting it up a little bit. And uh, orange goes to gray, says gray only to you, permanent alliance. This water can be our bonding ground. So yeah, this is a... Uh, th this is a version... Uh, sorry, a map generation from Mega Random I've seen before. Mega Random doesn't have as much variety of, as Hyper Random. Uh, the water's really nice for starting economically. I'm not really sure if it's going to be that important long term. But it's almost like an equal sign through the middle here. And Gray says, FYI, yellow is near you. He's 1900. Yeah, like yellow is is really strong. Actually, the other day I saw Masty play MBL. Now, MBL had to be in queue for seven minutes still to meet a 1900. But I mean, if you're still meeting up against a player like MBL on the ladder, uh, that is definitely something that it tells you this player is pretty solid. So Now, last time Masty played, Masty was super nice to everyone. And diplode a lot. We had a 2k player last week uh, who just didn't talk to people, who wasn't chill, who wasn't kind. And everyone killed that player. But Macy tends to do a pretty good job. And everyone's going to want to be buddy-buddy with the strong player. Because that strong player can defend them. 
but also it gives them their best opportunity at backstabbing that player potentially if you gain their trust. And Macy says, I'm open to teaming with anyone, so sure. And Macy's just having fun. Hunter screams. I keep finding pigs. <laughs> there are a lot of pigs on the map. I've noticed this. Um, there are no sheep, just pigs instead. Like, Blue had a ton of pigs. So that's not going to be... There's no, there's no shortage of meat available here on this map. But there is a bit of a shortage of gold, which Mira points out. Yeah, there's actually not a lot of golden stone at all. Ooh. Oh, God. Actually, trade is going to be extremely important here. And relics as well, which there's a couple of. I didn't realize that the golden stone is so sparse here. <laughs> um. Okay, so is... Someone said, how did I know that would be Finnish? So is player eight's name Finnish then, guys? It doesn't seem that Finnish to me. Like, as, as someone who's seen some Finnish words and usernames, usually Finnish is a little bit more difficult for me to pronounce. But it is apparently Finnish. Okay, good to know. I like how I base, I base my knowledge of languages on how difficult it is for me to say it. <laughs> Oh, it's so bad. My parents are proud. My parents are proud. My parents are proud. <laughs> so everyone's allied here. Uh, Macy's just still chatting away. Again, I think Gray will have the knowledge right now in the early stages that everyone's pretty far away. And so if Gray could like expand this way, maybe take control of this corner, it could be a really good position. Of course, I don't know Gray's experience levels. Uh, thank you, Aldapine, for the for the 34 months. Great to be back. Dazfu, what's up? Brave Conscript, woo-woo-woo to you too. Spaz, what's up? Thank you. But we're pretty chill here, as you guys uh, are used to if you watch community games. Community games have been incredible since I started them back up. We basically took... It wasn't a planned break, but it has ended up pretty much being that from December on to March. We didn't do community games because of uh, holidays and then Hidden Cup. And now I've taken, I took a week and a half off with family and to get over some illness. So kind of back in action here. Lots of bacon on the map. Red is walling himself into a corner here. So Reckless Sarge, scared of the world. This is a very cute base, I have to say. But yeah, last time I saw Sarge playing a game, Sarge was the same. Very chill, wants to stay out of everyone's way. I wouldn't expect Sarge to have insane eco in the later stages compared to, well, certainly someone like Maisty or Crackers. I think Crackers is going to have his work cut out for him here. Crackers is like, and I don't know everybody here, but I would say Crackers probably the, the most experienced player in the game. Maybe he and Deadly Cookie in terms of games played, games watched. And um, you know, th these two, if I had to guess, I would say communication between those two uh, to somehow band together to kill Yellow would be important. But Macy's already... Like, guys, what do we say about the strong players? The players who are strong and talented, they don't chat usually. Macy's actually doing this. Macy's being very fun, talking about pigs. Who doesn't like that? And says, hey, Teal, this is a PM. Could you make a market in the corner? I'll make one here. And Deadly Cookie says to everybody, I will once I can. So some people might be like, what will you do? But Macy's doing the right things so far. Again, not a lot of stone, not a lot of gold. Everyone making their way to Castle Age slowly. I say that as Maisty is already in the Castle Age, already building TC number two, already building TC number three, and already thinking about trade. So, Macy is the favorite in my opinion. But Sarge is going to reach out to Green. Lieutenant Crackers is the individual who uh, made the T90 Sounds mod, by the way, if you've ever seen that. I don't know if Reckless Sarge knows about that, but he says, I like you. I will give you the best meme award. <laughs> I will give you the best meme award if we ally and stay allied. <laughs> 
Okay, so... <laughs> I don't know how many people here know what Sarge is talking about. <laughs> but in my Discord server, there is a memes channel, okay? Uh, where you can post your T90 slash Age of Empires related memes. Uh, and Sarge... Now, Sarge may disagree with me on this, but... Um, I would say that, that Sarge is seen as someone who doesn't have the best taste of memes. People uh, made jokes about Sarge's memeing. And uh, then Sarge just kind of talked his way into... I give out the meme yes. awards here. Okay, now I'm probably missing yes. some details. and So it's kind of become a meme that Sarge isn't good with memes. And so Sarge gets to judge the best memes. And so that is uh, what he's referring to. And I don't know if, if that's something Crackers is aware of, but Crackers might be aware of that. And Crackers wants to team up with Sarge. So now everyone's going to have vision on what the others are doing right now. Lots of fishing ships. Soon the fish is going to be all gone. And we've got six players on the way to Castle Age right now. But again, Masty is already on three town centers. So Masty should have a pretty big lead economically compared to the others. And clearly wants to trade very early here. So... <laughs> like two middle schoolers trying to express interest in one another. Is that is that what you did with your middle school crushes, dude? You memed? <laughs> oh, middle school. What an awkward time. You know what I found recently was my middle school my middle school yearbook. And uh somebody said to me you should show your your fans, you should show your audience. <laughs> and I believe I said something along the lines of over my dead body. <laughs> I tell enough ex embarrassing stories. Uh, we need to set some type of sub goal for you guys to see those days, man. That would, uh, whew, it was rough. Let me tell you, it was a rough time. I think I'll stick to stories. Eco beginning to expand, but corner's so important when there's no gold, right? Because you need that trade. So right now it seems like Deadly Cookie and Masty thinking about that already. Mira's also going to reach out to green. So it feels like we could have like the, the blue, green, red alliance uh, in the north. But again, like it, it depends on what you think. Like I think the best way to maybe kill a really talented player who's way better than you is, um, is to maybe gain their trust, right? So that could be the angle that people try and use here with Masty. But I also think if, if the guy is talkative, and he's very kind, and he's very helpful, I think there would be some type of um, hesitation to attack him. I don't know what Hunter was trying to say at the very start, by the way. Does anyone remember exactly what he said? He was like, he said T90. Do I really have to scroll the whole way up? Whatever, we have the time. Okay, he said, hello T90, I am still a feared. So that to me seems like Hunter expects me to remember something. <laughs> and for the second straight week, maybe he meant to say afraid. Uh, that makes sense. I was going to say, does, does that mean like he's still fearful and I should remember <clears throat> what what uh, Hunter was afraid of? Or, you know, I, I, I don't know. But yeah, maybe he meant to say afraid because he was scared once he got into the game. But I, I don't have any memories of Hunter playing before. Cracker says yellow will be hard to deal with. He is favored to win, probably. Okay. Let's see if we can get blue on our side. So they're going to reach out to blue. I'm pretty sure blue already expressed some interest with Sarge. And Sarge is talking about prying people away. I like that. That's the way to do this here. Hey, blue, do you want to be allies with red and me? And Sarge is also reaching out. Blue feels very popular. And I imagine blue will say yes to this. There's no reason not to. My thing is, though, I think they might want somebody else. I think they need Deadly Cookie. Deadly Cookie is second in score. Deadly Cookie's pretty close. I think it makes sense. But I think Crackers is a little bit afraid of Deadly Cookie. I wish there was a way I could, like, look up if people played with community in community games before. 
I guess in theory, if we created a site and then we input the player names of every game, oh god, that'd be so much work. But it'd be like player names, player results. We basically have a stat site solely for community games. And then it'd be like we start a game and it's like, oh, fun fact, in 2021, Deadly Cookie and Lieutenant Crackers played against each other and Deadly Cookie betrayed Lieutenant Crackers after accepting an alliance from Snippy. <laughs> I would be sick though, like Liquipedia for community games. I, I don't know, it would take a lot of work and I think we all know I'm not gonna do that, but uh, I think it'd be fun. And it might even help us remember certain games that went to YouTube as well. This is my plans to do this until I drop dead. There's gonna be days where we forget things. Actually, that's not true. There's certain games I'll remember forever. I think my brain space is is solely dedicated to Age of Empires at this point, but yes. Okay, so Gray says seems there is an alliance in the north. He didn't hear anything about that, but I think he's just naturally assuming that because of the walls that we're seeing and the way these guys are playing. And it just feels natural. Now Yellow said yes to everybody there, and Deadly Cookie's like asking him like yes, like why'd you say yes? Who are you talking to? Things like that are a little risky. Not changing your chat settings once can lead someone to think that you're planning something and not including them in the plans. Uh, T90 Crackers was the guy who was at Hidden Cup for Germany. Yeah, so so I, I could be wrong on this. So I've met Lieutenant Crackers twice in person, right? Both times he was dressed up to the nines. I guess to, I guess that say that phrasing might imply um, like dressed up fancy, but no, he was like dressed up as like a militia or something, or like a, a lumberjack or something at the Red Bull meetup in Germany. And I'll tell you something about crackers. So crackers, I guess, found out that I like to drink scotch. Okay, so I'm at the Red Bull meetup like a year or two ago, and there's a line of people, you know, waiting to meet me, take some photos, sign some autographs, all that good stuff. It was great. Crackers comes up. I meet him. Uh, do you want photos or whatever? He's like, no, I'm okay. And he has his backpack, right? And all sly looking. Keep in mind, there's like people in a line. They're all looking at me. So it was super yes. sketch. And he opens his backpack and he goes, pick one. <laughs> and in it were two bottles of scotch. <laughs> but it's like, there's people looking at me. And this dude just like, you know, hey, hey, hey. hey. And he, he opens up the backpack. Hey, pick one. And I was like, uh, <laughs> uh, feel a little awkward here. And, uh, so obviously, I mean, it was, you know, it was McAllen. I 100% grabbed one. It was very nice. Uh, and then he was actually at the U.S. meetup, uh, just like a month ago. And I, I met him there as well. And he, he also gave me a gift. It was a mug with, it was a wooden mug with like T90 engraved on it. It was really nice. But yeah, I've known uh, no crackers for a while. Now I asked people, I said, I asked people where they came from. And there were people who came from Uruguay and Colombia, obviously the US, we had Canada. Um, but we had people come from countries I would not have expected for the USA meetup. Uh, and then Cracker said, I, someone said they were from Germany. I believe Cracker said that, but I always thought Crackers was American. He was like dressed as a German, I don't know. Anyways, he's a cool guy. And Orange says, Teal offering a Southwest Alliance. How do we feel about that gray and yellow? So, I mean, that that is this is still the most important player here to me is Deadly Cookie. Because Deadly Cookie borders the northern team. And I think if Deadly Cookie is on the side of Masty, that is very good for Masty. The way you're describing it sounds like a dream you're half remembering. That's my whole life, dude. That's my whole life. But... You know, as I was blabbing here, it does seem like Sarge was chatting up to Masty, and Masty does continue to talk in alt chat. So being a little bit lazy with that. And Deadly Cookie says, Green is giving me an odd feeling with these knights. Yeah, I do notice this with Crackers. This happened last time he played as well. He makes a lot of army, and he doesn't chat to some people. He makes it pretty obvious where he stands. So I just don't think Crackers is going to be trusted here. Masty up to 170 eco has moved the king pretty far out of the way now over here. And uh, 
Beautiful houses, I must say. But we'll see if anyone's going to be able to stop Masty at this point. Still not a whole lot of army. The player with the most army is still Crackers, who's still making knights. And we'll see. T90, Argentina's government press speaker challenged two people to AOE on public conferences and Twitter. Yeah, I, I saw that. I don't know if anyone heard about it, but some politician in Argentina was basically like challenged his political rivals to Age of Empires. <laughs> uh, and uh, there was a chance, like it, it seemed like it was scheduled that Nacho, who's a, who's a uh, Latin American, he's an Argentinian uh, content creator, was going to play him. And I was going to cast the games, but apparently the guy got too busy and he couldn't do it anymore. I uh, still think that's really funny. Someone was like, T90, you should contact Trump and Biden and you should do it. And I was like, no. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Dude, that would be... Listen, I think, like, we think Argentinian politics, a lot of people don't know a lot of stuff. It's not, like, quite as toxic. Dude, <laughs> getting involved, it, it, even just make, even just referencing that terrifies me that it's just going to spin out of control. So, uh, yeah, we're not, we're not doing that. Masty says, want to join in with Orange, Teal, and Gray and I? We're having a peaceful time. Says this to Hunter. Hunter needs some help. And Hunter says, absolutely, you and me are real close with our bases. Okay, so Hunter is now along for the ride. Now, guys, <clears throat> this may surprise you, but I suck at math, okay? I really struggled with it. Don't ask me why. Um, so, you know, I'm trying to... You might need to help me out here, but I'm pretty sure that the three in the north, they're going to struggle against the, the five others, especially compared to the amount of space the others have. Like, the others are going to have three corners. Th having three corners is amazing for trade. It's not so good for Reckless Sarge, for Crackers, and for Mira here. I think they failed to reach out to Gray, and I think they failed to reach out here to Liam, and... Uh, I think that's going to be something they regret. They have the right idea to team with people close to them. I think they just needed one additional player here. Someone says, T90, it's a matter of time before most leaders would have played video games. That would be interesting, right? I guess when... Again, I usually prefer not to speak about politics for obvious reasons, but as a fair point, you know, currently... You know, people when they were in their 20s and 30s who were into politics, because they're all old as dirt, probably didn't play a lot of video games. But, you know, over time. Yeah, what if it's, like, f past streamers, right? In, like, 20 years, people are going to be like, no, don't vote for that T90 guy for president. He went to Facebook for two years. What a sellout. He'll sell this country out like he sold his community game. Like he sold his community out for the Zuck. Would you guys vote for me? Actually, don't answer that. Don't answer that. All right, so still lots of chatter here. Lots of chatter. It still seems like the three in the north. They're talking about getting gray on their side, which is a little late in my opinion if you want trade set up. Yeah, but it still would be worth the conversation. Now, I'm noticing Masty is trading this way. And Masty is... Oh, I, am I am I blind? No, Macy's also trading this way. That's very unique to trade both directions. Because normally when you're losing trade, you're going to lose trade in the trade path. You're not going to lose the entire corner. So this would ensure that some trade survives if there is a fight. T90 would ruin the agricultural industry. Ha ha, funny funny. I guess there'd be I guess there'd be no islands to explore if T90 was president. Yeah, because you'd probably build the, the, you know, three archer ranges there. Yeah, I get it, guys. I get it. All right. Really creative. Uh, thank you, Emu, for the five months is rooting for Mace to hear. I mean, is there a world... Like, I'm not seeing anything with all my experience that tells me Macy's not going to dominate this game. No one seems to have an issue with Macy. Macy's been very nice. Macy's got an incredible economy. Macy's stockpiles are unbelievable. Look at this. We've got, like, top in wood, top in food. Not top in gold, though. What? Oh, Macy bought 6,000 stone. So Macy's just buying up stone. Actually, sending stone to allies, too. 
Macy obviously has more gold workers, so Macy should be in an amazing position. Mira reaching over to Gray right now and is kind of letting Gray know what's up and is being like, hey, do you want to team with us? Because we are threatened by Teal and Yellow. Now, if Gray takes this, Gray could um, potentially play both sides here. I think that would be a smart move. I don't think it would necessarily be good from Gray to fight for one team in particular right away here. You can get by with just being friends with everybody, even just being emotional support. That could be really important. This is a rare position to find yourself in. And Blue says we are th threatened by them, the big boys, if you will. And Liam says, yes, they are rather large. <laughs> <laughs> and Masty is going to build up barracks here. Is Italian, so could make condos. And Reckless Sarge says, how is it going with Gray? Because they want to know if Gray is on board. We do have Mira trading this direction already, so they are, of course, officially allied, but we don't know if that's going to stay the case forever. Oh, that's true. Wood, wood could run dry eventually, I guess. But my thinking right now is it is going to be Crackers and Mira against Deadly Cookie and against Masty. And based on score, that is not going to be good for Crackers and Mira. I think they will get wiped. And Reckless Sarge, love him to death. But, uh, you know, his, his, his eco is just not there. He's at 4,000 score. He's He is, uh, you know, sim sitting it up at the moment. It's going to take some time to catch up to the others here. So... Um, I, uh, I missed this. Is Bear Engineer still here? Bear the Engineer? Comment in my chat, maybe? Sorry, guys. It, it probably popped up on screen. But, uh, Bear Engineer donated $69 to the stream. Says, just wanted to say thank you for another great Hidden Cup. Hey, thank you so much. You're welcome, of course. Thank you. Oh, man, we have a, a we have a change in alliance. This Deadly Cookie turns on Crackers. And this surprises no one. But I'm not seeing an immediate fight yet. I think Deadly Cookie's just getting prepared here. Uh, but... I guess Gray's, like, kind of in? Okay, I'm trying to think. What's the situation Gray is in right now? Gray's, like, a really popular person who's been invited to multiple parties. And has told everyone yes. And is going to show up to the one that seems like it's going to have the most free beer. I don't know. I was never the, the popular person that got invited to parties, so I'm not sure exactly what the criteria is. This is bl blue and gray still chatting. Now Deadly Cookie is allied crackers again. I'm still really confused why that happened. Um, gray says he's a peaceful guy. It's Manifest Destiny. Yellow's talking to a bunch of people. Green says Teal is, is being mean to me. Do land parties count? Of course land parties count. I have very good memories of uh, connecting multiple Xboxes together and playing Halo growing up. Oh, that was so good. What was in there? Was there a relic in there, maybe? I think there was a relic in there at some point. And trade is bait. Like, the amount of gold you get from trade is based on the distance between the markets. So this trade route we're looking at here is, is just horrible. It's just 43 gold per trip compared to the 123 gold. Just not going to be able to compete if you're not getting that much gold income and you only have three players. Again, I'm not convinced that Gray would necessarily benefit uh, from helping the North. I think the conversation is happened a little too late here. Point Green, thanks for the six months. Cryptics, welcome back. Appreciate it, clubbing militia. Hunter says, T90, I am auto farming. How does that make you feel? And even auto fish trapping. <laughs> Makes me feel fine. <laughs> Makes me feel great, Hunter. <laughs> uh, I love it when people like, I love it when people prioritize all these messages to me when they are really struggling in other ways. Like, I guess he's making paladins right now. 
But he is the only player who doesn't have over 100 eco, and here he is chatting to me about his eco. Deadly Cookie says, Green is not making me his friend, that's for sure. And then Blue says, Gray is walling, this looks bad. Yeah, it's just, it's just bad. The situation's not great. I guess Green had snuck a building down here. That's been found. And it seems like it's all about to go down. They've noticed that Green has come through here. Quick walls from Crackers, though. That villager will delay his death. And Gray is snitching and says they're talking smack about Yellow to me. So obviously lets Yellow know, lets Orange know. Just lets the team know the situation. And Masty says, what nice people. Okay, so Masty knows that the North is against him. This shouldn't be new info. And I think the play to try and get Gray incorporated into the team came far too late. For Mira, for Reckless Sarge, and for Crackers. Obviously... There was very little conversation from Crackers to Deadly Cookie. There was very little conversation over towards Gray. And when it did happen, it came too late. And it just always felt natural that these players were going to fight each other here. Hmm. Well, army composition will be a little awkward for the Saracens against Ethiopians. Saracens can kind of counter everything. But uh, Ethiopians, if they go for like Arbs, Onager, should be re in a really good spot. Ethiopians just have an amazing late game. Like, there's just not many civilizations that can compete with their late game if mobility isn't a factor. And with the way things are closed up here with some walls, it feels like mobility isn't that big of a factor. All right, any theories, guys? As, as this fighting is going to start, though, any theories? How does Yellow win this game? Like, Yellow is the favorite. Certainly amongst the pigs as well for sparing these lives, but... It should be obvious that Masty is going to be in a good position to do so. I'm sure the others are going to wait to deal with Masty. But what is Masty's long-term plan? Whoa. Whoa. This is cool. Relics going into the monastery. Maybe a wonder over here? Yes. Maybe that could that would be the plan? Certainly Masty's planning something. Red says, sorry I was AFK. Restroom 11. What are we doing? Okay, so Reckless Sarge <laughs> couldn't hold it any longer. <laughs> Left the computer <laughs> and is now coming back in the midst of war and is trying to ask for an update. Sarge, there's a lot of pressure here. <laughs> okay, there's a lot of people here uh, knocking on the door. I don't know if they have a chance to really update you. Mira says we're considering our options. Is that really what's happening? I don't think that's what's happening here. But Sarge is going to stick to his team. Says I will fight to the death with you three. And Hunter. Hunter's going to show up with Paladins. So we're going to have Condos from the Italians. We're going to have Shotels and Onagers and Arbs from the Ethiopians. We're going to have Paladins from the Franks. I mean, these are units that are just so, so good. Oh, and we've got cannon galleons as well here from Hunter. That's sick. And yeah, it seems like uh, the three in the north are going to turn on all the others. We'll see. Gray might not be attacked. Gray is, of course, the other direction. But I, I just do not think that these players are going to survive that quick, that long here. Sarge says, Teal, I will fight you. Back off now, Teal. Or get Sarge. <laughs> okay. So the guy who left his computer for, I, I would imagine, a pretty long period of time to believe himself is now threatening uh, one of the best players in the game. And he continues to threaten. He says, I'm coming. Oh, no, he's telling his teammates he's coming to help. Interesting technique there from Sarge. But again, that's the thing. It's like, even if your whole team's going to get rolled, you still have the Kings with Exploding Kings. If this was a normal game without Exploding Kings, then these three will probably inevitably die and there'd be no real drama or twists or turns. So everyone has to get their alliances changed and get it right. But I think we know what it is going to be. It's probably going to be four people against the three in the north. I'm saying that because I don't know if Grey will fight. Like right now, Grey says self-defense. Green attacked first. So I think Gray, we'll see if he fights, but I think Gray still wants to be friends with the others just in case. 
Cracker says, Gray, we need your help. I don't think it makes any sense for Gray to help, honestly. Why, why would you do that? You've got walls. You're trading the other way. Trade is the most valuable thing in the long term to keep alliances steady. If Gray's not trading with you, he's not teaming with you. That's my feeling. And purple struggling to, re to, to know what to do here with these bomber cannons behind. But once that stables down, those bomber cannons will get sniped. And there go the condos. Yeah, I agree. Really smart from Gray to kind of play both sides a little bit. Um, Gray is attacking green. I think Crackers... I mean, this is right... This is his eco here. So he was holding out hope that some of these people would would not attack him. But best of luck. Now, Sarge... Reckless Sarge has not turned on anyone here. Now he has. So he was standing in the battle... And he sarged himself. That's what we call that. And this could get out of hand very fast here for uh, Crackers as his castle is now being attacked. Now, Reckless Sarge did promise something. He says, hold out for a bit, Blue. I've got something coming that you'll like. So I don't know what that means. But I know the king is now on the move for Crackers. And Crackers is going to run away from the enemy. You have a choice to make. No one wants to be the first person to die. And Blue now pointing out that Gray's turned. So it's like, from our perspective, this has felt pretty predictable. From their perspective, it, it, you know, it, there's no good news. And it feels like it's only going to get worse. Okay, Sarge says, Yellow, we need your help. <laughs> Let me... <laughs> Let me think about this. You know, because some people are so brilliant. <laughs> some people are so brilliant that you re they just misunderstood, you know? <laughs> so let me get this straight. Yellow is orchestrating this attack with an entire squad, which is all against the North. Sarge exists in the North. Sarge just lost his whole army to the South. And now he's going to the King of the South and he says to Yellow, we need your help. I don't know how that works. Uh, maybe maybe Sarge is just begging for mercy, though. Um, Macy says, what do you need help with? But I'm fighting with Teal. And I think laughs, because he's kind of like, what are you expecting here? And, and Sarge says, sorry. And maybe Sarge didn't fully understand. But, you know, sometimes you have to ask for mercy. Sometimes that's a play, and, and maybe that's it. Right now, there's two kings in this castle in the north. And then Blue's king might be next. I think Blue sees this as an opportunity to because he thinks that Sarge is buddies with Masty. So he immediately goes to Yellow and says, ally me because I'm with Red. And Masty says, why Blue? You any mean me. Red didn't. And Mira's like, I was just defending Green. Masty says, Green attacked my friend, which is true. And so they're talking it out. They all have their reasons for their bloodshed. People tend to be able to sleep at night if they feel it's justified. And Gray says it's a war game. And this is true. And Gray's been fighting blue here. So Sarge... I, I don't know. Like, I don't think they're fully understanding the situation at the moment. Sarge and Crackers are going to have to come to the conclusion that this is over for them and they're going to have to use their kings. At this point, though... I don't think that they can easily send their kings through the battle and into their bases. So I think the kings are unlikely to explode anybody. And Crackers just says, I'm dead. And it just must be a sucky feeling, right? Like, they, they just, they, they teamed with three. They didn't lock down a corner. And the other teams had the stronger players as well. Like, the hope would be that Masty would be turned on by someone. I think that they needed to incorporate other people into the conversation to have a chance here. But Masty, guys. Masty is building this base from a scenario. And is clearly planning on eventually being ganged up on here. We've got barracks inside the walls. Stables inside the walls. Relics inside the walls. Castles with the king in it. I think maybe Crackers is going to try and put the kings in a siege tower. Unfortunately, you cannot do that, which makes me very sad. And Sarge, trying to threaten, says, Hey guys, I see the true powerful king. 
I don't know if that's a threat or not. Talk it among yourselves if you spare me. Gonna be honest, I have no clue what he means. <laughs> I will be useful to your cause. I think Sarge is saying that he can use his king to explode them. Yeah, Blue is asking for peace as Blue is being massacred from all angles. And Grace says watch out for their kings and the Sarge is going to ally people hoping that they'll accept. Which again, at this point, it's pretty dire. That's all you could really hope for, maybe. Sarge says I ally out of good faith to you. Okay. I mean, the positive for Sarge is his eco hasn't actually been hit. Your crackers finds out you can't put kings into siege towers. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I love how he realized that. Oh, it's so funny. That'd be so cool if you could, though. Like, come on. You can fit 10 crossbows in there, but not one king? What is this? Paladins, cannon galleons, arbalest. There's no chance for you, Blue. And your king is inside this castle. And of course, when the kings die, there can be an explosion. It's possible Blue's distracted with the fight over here and just misses it. And we'll lose this king here in a moment. Equisard still offering friendship. Blue's king running this direction. Unfortunately for Mira, did not work out here. And, well, the king is running to the north. Don't get too close to your team! Don't get too close to your team! They're all up here! No! Okay, I mean, God, Blue, if you run to the north right now. Oh, my God. Dude, Mira! You gotta be careful, people! This is gonna be horrible for Sarge. Into the castle! Whew! There's gonna be three kings up here. Oh, God. Okay. It's kind of hard to eject out of uh, someone else's castle because you can't set the rally point. Sarge is still trying to reach out to everyone else. It's not working. And Sarge says, I'll join you in death. I like that. I'll join you in death. And that, that's pretty much what this is, you know? It's, there's no uh, fairy tale ending here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. 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 Oh, run, 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 run. You're definitely going to be joining them in death. You were correct about that, Sarge. Okay, Sarge realizes it. Blue dies. Now green dies. Because he was killed by the Arbalest. And I, the guy you said, I'll join you in death. Suddenly doesn't want to die. <laughs> you know, it sounded good on paper. It was good for the clickbait title, but now that death is actually here, Sarge does not want to die, and Sarge has been able to escape. King survives. Crackers and Mira are dead. There will be another explosion. And the sad thing for Sarge is that was his economy. <laughs> there is very little remaining. Now, guys, I actually think Sarge will... I think Sarge has a chance to survive here. Orange says, not admittedly the fairest of fights. Yeah, they were always going to kill those three or two. And Gray compliments Yellow, says, Yellow, you have an exquisite looking base, which is true. It is very exquisite. Yellow says it will continue to get better. And Sarge says, who do you want dead? Sarge, don't do the bidding of the guy who ordered the death of your friends, bro. Uh, I, I mean, in theory, I actually think Sarge could reboom. This is an interesting group of units. Yellow says Gray would be the easiest for you. So Yellow was just complimented by Gray. Gray was so happy with the beauty of Yellow's base, and now Yellow is quick to tell Sarge, just toss the king over to Gray, why don't you? Sarge says, I need a transport. And Sarge might not have much time left here. Yellow's going to make it, but here comes Orange trying to kill Sarge, and Sarge has to move. Now, he has grouped his units all together, so they will move at the speed of the slowest unit. And you know what the slowest movement uh, unit is? It's the pig. <laughs> they are moving at a pig's pace here because he grouped them all up together. Now, the king is in a separate area. There goes the king. Interesting idea from Masty to use Red's King. We'll see if this is doable. Now, no one should automatically be attacking the transport ship from Yellow. Yellow's making the transport ship, but the Cannon Galleon? Oh, 
The Canagallion from Grey will go after that king. Sarge. There's also skirmishers here. Sarge has to loop back. Can Sar can a king make a run for it? Oh my god. A daring escape. A daring escape! Ah! Oh god! <laughs> the deer went down! And now the Canagallion will not aggro the transport because it is a yellow transport. Masty is microing this like crazy. I wonder if people witnessed this. Oh, Gray witnessed this. He says, Ao, why is he in your bleep? Dispose of him. Now, Sarge has no power anymore. He can't get it out of the transport ship. The power is there for Masty. And Masty says, all right, time for the ceremony. Oh, no. Masty was never planning on using this king against his faithful allies. He was planning on killing this in a way that he chose. And he says, sorry, no way out. They've seen it. And Sarge is begging for that king to be taken somewhere to die in a way that matters here. Uh, Deadly Cookie feels bad about it, says poor Sarge. Sarge says, please, just let me take control. Now, if Yellow does this, all bets are off. At that point, there could be a massive fight against Gray. He might not want to do that. Deadly Cookie says, just don't land him on any of us. And Macy says, how about this? We put it to a vote. <laughs> This is new. And Sarge votes, I die in the water. Okay, that's one option. What about the others? He says, do I A, perform the ritual and sink red? Or B, there isn't any other option, GG red, and deletes the transport. Well, that vote was as rigged as I've ever freaking seen on this channel. That was rigged. There were no options. And uh, obviously that means we are denied an explosion. Reckless Sarge is dead. And uh, the three in the north that we expected to die because they didn't have the corners locked down and yes. they were outnumbered did indeed die. And Reckless Sarge says, I just got Sarged. Classic. I love how Purple just figured it out. It says, wait, Red was on a ship? <laughs> and, uh, uh, you know, they need to decide on what's happening next and immediately Arn says what about we kill purple here he seems to be the weakest link and now now this team that has pretty much been fighting together has been working together that have loved and respected each other now they end up turning on each other but it's like who do you pick on i think the natural one would be to go for the guy who is super top score and has built up a beautiful base but i think because of how masty plays the game because masty's so chatty masty's so fun and Masty works for the team. I think people are not as excited to do that. And not just for those reasons. I, I also think there's a fear when attacking a stronger player. So. Okay. Purple says, quick, whoever can build a wonder. So purple reminds everyone that a wonder is poss possible. Excuse me. Now orange. Goes to purple. Who he just wanted to kill. No one really took him up on that. And says, perp only to you. Yellow is the 1900 if you know what I'm saying. Now, Macy did say, I'm happy to city build. I don't want war. I'm happy with peace. I think Macy's being honest. Gray is a little worried. Gray's going to wall up because that peace will end at some point. And Hunter says, yes, if I go down, I plan to hit yellow. Okay, so Hunter might feel very happy that you know, Orange has, has decided on the next move alongside of him here. Seems like a good plan. Gray says, I think Perp's time is rapidly coming to a close. He's chopping my trees. Unacceptable. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, Liam? Liam, a.k.a. Liam? Okay. Well, apparently trees are very important here to Gray. Actually, Gray... Uh, no, Gray's got plenty of trees. But at this point, you look for reasons to attack people, so... Orange says, inconceivable. And then also says to Teal, go on, because Teal says, let me make a case for Gray, no hard feelings. So, who's going to be the one people actually go after? They're talking about yellow, they're talking about purple, they're talking about Gray. Hi, Teal, Orange, I think we should be the final three... So that obviously throws a little 
Wrinkle in the works. I've seen this a thousand times, says Gray. Teal's an, teal's an op? Yes. What's that mean? An opponent? I don't know. Finally, somebody snitches here. That's what we wanted is some freaking snitching. And Orange says, Gray, Teal is just now speaking of attacking you. It passes that information along. And so that could mean that, uh, you know, maybe they end up going against Deadly Cookie here. The thing is, guys, the lack of discussion on killing the top score player right now bothers me. That is so weird. He's getting 213 gold per trip. He's trading from the left corner to the right corner right now. Dang. That is some gold. What's the stockpile? Oh my god. 54k gold? Are you kidding me? Of course, the players won't know that, but like, still. Everyone seems to know he's 1900. I think they're, they respect him, but they're scared of him. Sarge has been dead for a while, and he says, how are they still not fighting each other? Well, they've had a strong team. No one... Everyone feels like if they attack right now, they get killed by the others. But they... Decisions need to be made. Hmm. How much for spies? Actually, 30k golds for spies, so... Yeah. And it doesn't... Like, if there's multiple players remaining, it still maxes out at 30k or 32k or something, so... Masty could research that, but there's no need for Masty to do that right now because he already sees everybody because he's allied with them. Orange says, Perp, there will be a great war. A perfect time for you to hit yellow. There will be a great war. Yes, but who will be fighting? Which side will these people been on? They have been teamed with each other for so long. You can't give me an ultimatum. That's the rude part, says Gray. All right. <clears throat> oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. I missed some drama, actually. Deadly Cookie says, Gray, what will it be? And Gray said, you die. <laughs> Deadly Cookie wanted some clarity. Yeah, this is... this is We have long entered the Cold War at this point. And just giving me my YouTube titles at this point. They're going through all their ideas. People have jotted down things they could say in this game on notepads. I could see the writing on the wall. I like that too. Yeah, we'll add that to my list. Arnst says, let me know when you want to make your move. I'm currently undercover on all sides. He said that to everyone who's remaining. That's fascinating. And Macy says, I'll be neutral until something occurs. Then I'll help you too. And is saying that to Teal and Orange. I think that's accurate. It is interesting, though, that, like, Gray and Purple are next to him. He's not really chatting to them. <laughs> For... <laughs> I don't know if this would be a good YouTube title. Uh, Hunter says, we just need a little bit more pressure for this pimple to pop. <laughs> uh, that felt weird to say. But it's going to happen at some point. Attack the enemy with war galley. People are complaining about pigs. People are complaining about trees. Deadly Cookie says, I'm not going to argue at all with your statement there, Macy. I mean, Macy's not going to be the one who attacks first. Macy's already, there's a lot of reason for people to go after Macy. Uh, uh, Ma Mace, yeah, Macy, I don't know why I'm ruining that. Macy just wants to build, but has brought the king out here. Now, there's a lot of fakes here, right? That's not a king. That's not a king. That's not a king. This is now the king. People! Listen! All right? You're not getting paid by the hour here. All right? You're not getting paid at all. This is all entertainment. All right? People could be anywhere on the internet. All right? They could be playing uh, Club Penguin or something else. Let's go! Let Okay, we got some movement. We got some action here. They heard me scream. People want blood. And, whoa, Capture Age is... What the... What, what is that? What, what? Huh? Okay, sorry. Capture Age issue. But it seems like the first fight from the original five is going to be gray against purple and gray against teal. And I think we are also going to realize why uh, players waited so long to attack. Because my guess here 
is that Gray is going to be killed by everybody now because Gray is the player that cannot be trusted in their eyes. When you have a team of five that have worked together for so long, the first person to try and change that, especially if it's not coordinated and discussed with, with someone like Masty here, could end up being a problem. We've got Paladins on the way. We've got Arbs and Halbs on the way. Gray is going to need some support. And we'll see if Yellow chooses to do that. Now remember, Yellow is trading across the entire map. 200 plus gold per trip. Yellow will not want to team against Gray because then the castles from Gray will kill the trade. And Gray says, I might have bit off a bit more than I can chew, which is a natural reaction when you have two people coming in towards you. So, seems like this was always going to be the case. The first person that turned. And we'll see what Maesty does, but Maesty is not incentivized to make any enemies because Maesty is, is the favorite. And Maesty has just boomed up this whole time. You know what Gray's going to be regretting potentially in this game, guys? Gray's going to be regretting not taking that deal from the top three. Now, at the time that Gray was approached, I feel like it didn't make a lot of sense. I think there was definitely a Diplo error from the Northern Three to not talk to Gray earlier in the game. But Gray basically, like, the help that he could have received is from the players that he helped kill. And now he's receiving no support whatsoever. I'd be going, hey, Masty, bro. Don't be hasty, Masty. Help me out. Or, I guess, be hasty, Masty. I don't know. Orange says to Purple, Purple, I think you can sneak your king into Yellow's fort through the trade routes. Orange, are you volunteering someone else to commit suicide? Because I'm pretty sure your king can fit through there all the same. That's what Orange just did. Orange looks at Hunter, says, This guy's screaming about pigs 24-7. He's bottom score. Why should I commit suicide and explode my king? When, I don't know, I could have purple do it. And uh, then I can take the victory. But, I mean, that might be the way that they have to take out Maesty here is, is with a king. The yellow says, My thoughts on the matter are... I like building. So yellow continues to just build up. But uh, is going to be adding condos in here. Might be moving and making move against Gray. I'm sorry, Gray, but there will be no help for you. And did the trade all die? When did the trade... Did the trade die out here? What happened? Did Maesty retask the trade? There used to be a lot of yellow here. And Gray says, why you do this? Yellow says to protect my city. All right, so live viewers, type a one in my chat if you were getting annoyed with how little action there was for a period of time. Okay, there's going to be some ones, all right? I want you to at least recognize that the player who decided to break that, that you know, treaty is now the player who's dying. This is why the players were so scared to be aggressive. Now, I don't like how it wasn't coordinated from Gray. I don't like how he just kind of turned and, and that was that. But maybe it was because the other two had already planned to be against him. Gray is asking for help. And Arns just says, I'm making my move and leaves it at that. Does not say anything else. We don't know if that's actually the case. Arns doesn't seem to be making the quickest move at the moment. And Gray should have no chance against Paladins from Franks, Arbalest from Ethiopians, and then Condos and Trebs then from the Italians. There's just too many units out here. And oh, Deadly Cookie is being attacked by Orange. Oh, a betrayal. And the Arbalest just missed out on the opportunity. I assume Deadly Cookie noticed this. This is going to make it awkward for Deadly Cookie to attack Gray now. So this could absolutely help him. And in a panic here, Deadly Cookie actually turns on Purple... Because he thinks Purple might be in on it, but but Purple's going to be confused. He's going to be like, why are you doing this? Deadly Cookie is alive. Now Hunter turns on Deadly Cookie. Whoa, so now Purple and Orange are both against Deadly Cookie. And Hunter calls out Teal now. So lots of confusion. Wow, Teal, after I remove the pigs for you. <laughs> I think it was a misclick from Cookie. Cookie still hasn't turned on Orange. Cookie still isn't turned on him. And now he allies purple because he realizes the mistake. But the pressure's on and now he turns on orange. But now 
The castle's gonna go down. And the king is very exposed. That king needs to run. Oh, God. He's gonna lose so much of his base as well. King needs to get out of here. Deadly cookie is dead. Woo! And it ends... You know, Deadly Cookie tried to apologize. I imagine maybe he didn't realize the king was there. It's hard to say. But that turn, kind of the first un, kind of kind of the first uh, snipe attempt that wasn't predictable in this game. Deadly Cookie's dead, out of the game. Orange is trying to escape with things. Uh, a lot of these buildings and units will go down. And now we have four people remaining. Uh, Yellow still advancing, pretty much on his own now against Gray. Because Deadly Cookie was distracted and Purple was distracted too. And honestly, there's no better time for Purple and for Orange to go against Yellow. And Purple's gonna build a wonder? Oh god, Yellow's trade carts are in the way, bro. What are we doing? And Hunter figures this is his time. And he screams, I shall bear the hatred. <laughs> Only he spelled hatred wrong, but we still appreciate it. <laughs> I shall bear the hat read. Well, I mean, that immediately puts a target on his back. So I think that's why he wanted to say, I shall be the hated one. And Orange says, though a wonder is a vile deed, I still feel we should go against yellow. I really like Orange. Salutes in chat, please, for Orange. This is... Orange just had some fun Diplo over the last few moments. Warning the others that the move he was going to make against Teal, which worked. And Orange is also is correct. I think there's no better opportunity for them to go against Masty. Because Gray is actually putting up a pretty decent fight. If Gray gets to hold, the others could maybe push Masty. Masty has a crazy fortifications here. Purple says, I will fight yellow with you and shall gladly submit if only we remain. And Orange says, a plan to my ear. And Gray telling the others, yellow is too good. He will win unless we band together. And yellow continues to say, I just like my city building. And if the peace is threatened, I must choose a side sadly. Well, you're about to be the only one on your side, my friend. Because it seems like the others are realizing this is the time to take you down. <laughs> and Orange says we like demolition work. Again, I love this. The condos are are doing more than enough against the Halbs and the uh <clears throat> and the light calf. And Gray says perp I ally you. Yeah, they were fighting before. And Gray says pretend nothing happened. Well, this is great stuff from these guys to realize this. And now it will be 3v1. It's just a matter of time. We'll see if purple and orange can get the units over here, get the siege. Orange has some real issues with production buildings. Like, all the production buildings are going to be over here. They need to turn on him now. Like, this guy continues to get so much trade. The trade profit's going to be ridiculous. And orange says, we're going to take out the big boys so we can go back to play fighting. And, well, you better do it soon. Because, again, I just don't think Gray is going to be able to stockpile that much gold. Gray has no gold left against a player with 90,000 gold. There's no chance. I like, I respect the elephant play, but it's just not going to work over time. Yes. So, I guess Purple's really preoccupied with getting the wonder up. God, man, why did they choose to construct this here? Right in the, right in the middle of rush hour as well. Can't you do this at a different time? Don't you know how much traffic there is at this hour? Jeez. Gonna snipe purple orange? Go for it whenever. Okay, so yellow still believes that maybe purple's on his side. I'm not convinced that orange is necessarily going to fight yellow. I'm just not seeing a lot of military at all from orange. Gray's elephants are actually holding. Wow. Again, Gray will have very little gold income, so once these elephants die, that's going to be the end of them. We have Genoese now, and the Genoese should melt the elephants. Too much paladins couldn't handle it if I wanted, says yellow. Uh, sorry, orange to yellow, so. Wonder is up. Don't walk too far out the front door there. Uh, you're going to meet a very unique death, but uh, beautiful wonder. 
Castle on either side. I love it. Some walls. And, ooh, Purple says allied victory is on, my friend. Don't do it. So he's like basically telling Orange, don't kill me. Oh, and he, it's because he sees that Orange is here. So maybe a, a lack of trust. Orange has shown once before that he's okay with turning against somebody. Well, what Orange said earlier was correct. I, I think that the correct play is to go against Yellow, but... It does seed distrust if you build a wonder. Right now, purple could be lying. That could that wonder victory might just be for him. Orange says, yellow thinks I will snipe you. Let us move. They're going to take this time. Gray has actually held on wonderfully. The elephants really made a big difference. Vietnamese elephants, 420 HP. Man, if only they had like six to eight trebs as well. Right? Like if they had the rams with trebs... With paladins, with berserks, with everything. They really just need to take out the fortifications. This beautiful, beautiful city, which does look incredible. Macy says, colluding with Grey. He's asking this of Orange. And I think Macy must realize now that this is going to be a turn from Orange, and it is a turn from both now. Here they engage. Purple, this is your time. Yep, Purple's going to be in on this as well. This is good. Macy James was said at the start to be higher ranked than everyone had great diplo this whole game kept talking you know peaceful words about peace and city building and macy seems excited about this test as my city gets tested woohoo macy's like finally and we'll see if his city can hold but the siege rams are going to take out these castles pretty quickly and i you know with gray on the other side i think this is the end for macy crazy that I think about that when he has uh, 80,000 gold, but you can only have 200 population as a player and not having, like, any heavy siege hurts here. Because if you had, like, a lot of onagers, you could potentially flatten a lot of units quickly. Yes, the Genoese crossbowmen can be great against the paladins and, you know, there's going to be quite a lot of military here from yellow, but still castles are being lost. Pressure is coming in from both sides. Crazy hold from Grey here. Wow! And Orange says, just to the viewers, colluding with every single player smiley face. Well, except for Deadly Cookie, who you killed. <laughs> but yeah, so so Orange is, this is all part of Orange's plan. I think Orange has played a great game. And if Yellow's out of the picture, Orange has an alliance with Purple. Purple already said he'd allied victory with Orange. It could potentially 2v1 against Gray. But yeah, we'll see. Now, Treason was just researched by Maesty. And his king is about to run into the battle here. Does he know that? Oh, God. I don't think he knows. I don't think he knows. I... Oh! Does he know? The pathing is awkward. Maybe he just realized and is bringing it back. I think he's bringing it back. Because I think he ejected all of the units out of his castles. And his king was in the castle. Oh, God. Okay, did he find it? That was close. Classic mistake, right? Ejecting military and your king gets sent out into battle. I still don't trust it, man. I still don't trust it. Liam says, are condos gold? I'm hoping he runs out of them. Condos do cost gold. I can't tell you how much, but... God, this king. What is happening? <laughs> okay, he tried to send him inside the tower. You can see he's trying to go... He's gonna, he's gonna uh, pull something. But yeah, he's trying to hop inside the tower, but it won't let him because of the walls. So uh, King will be in there eventually. Uh, he's gonna continue. He needs to lose a couple pounds. Skip lunches for a couple days. He might be able to squeeze past those walls into the tower. It's a pretty big deal though, because if you group units here, like if you go like this to select military units, you would also bring in your King. And he, it's not easy to see, right? It's all stacked behind that. So I think that could be bad for Macy. Macy's up to 150 army, by the way. <laughs> Grace is... Almost 2k elo. He shall perish. And Orange uh, probably felt like such a god chatting to the viewers earlier. But Orange, you have forgotten to change your chat settings now. So uh, you are now talking to yourself. You are looking in the mirror. 
And it looks like Orange has fixed that now and asked the others if there's they have any wood. Hunter passes along some wood, and they're going to work together here. Yellow's King did make it into the tower, by the way. Nice job from Macy to realize that. So I think what worked well before was ramps. But now we're seeing Cavalier as well. And Cavalier do a really a much better job um, compared to the condos in most of these fights. Where they're not going to do as good a job as against the Halves, but like in every other fight, they're going to be better than the condos. They're more expensive, of course, but you, ha you have 80k gold. You can make sure that you're still okay. Uh, countdown is on. 220 years for purple, too. And uh, I am re realizing some... It seems like there's some attacks over here. Okay, these are just yellow buildings that are being attacked. Bet you the Hunter says something about the pigs. Hunter was obsessed with the pigs earlier. AC just researched trees and again to find out king locations. And got the reminders of where the kings are. Purple's not too far away. Purple's king is right there. And Orange says killing yellow might take a king. Now... Orange was very quick to volunteer Purple's King for that job earlier, if you remember. But I think these three are better... I think it makes more sense for them to fight together right now. Gray says he can't hold forever. He's bound to run out of gold. And Macy has 63,000 gold. <laughs> He's bound to run out of gold. <laughs> Well, you know, the big thing that the three that are remaining thought of, uh, forgot to think about here is their own gold supply, right? They are not trading anymore. And that's that's huge. Um, you really need to keep on top of that. Because if you are continually trading while taking these fights, then you can afford to lose gold units. But basically, no one has trade. And one player here has stocked up insane stockpiles of gold for this very moment. But it is true. I mean, eventually... Yellow were run out of gold. There's also full relics for yellow, too, we should mention. But it's, it's easier said than done, right? Like, they they need they need to think about it now, and gray doesn't have much gold. Purple has no gold. Um, orange does have some gold, but they do not have the gold workers they need. Will they realize that? Or will they just continue to try and push? I think they will need to use a king to kill yellow, because he just has so much gold. Okay, Orange says one more kingless attempt. So maybe Orange will be the one that volunteers the king. And Masty is going to try and squeeze a wonder back here. We'll see how many villagers are around. I'm only seeing a few. I mean, that's the way to do it. But then Masty's going to have to take out Purple's wonder, right? A whole lot of pressure is going to come through. And Macy starts the wonder. Well, this makes the most sense. You don't have any allies. You have fortifications. This is the play. The downside is it's going to take a while because it's only five villagers building it. And Hunter screams, you are but a pretender <laughs> as he sends food over to Orange because Orange is running out of food. Let's go. Let's go, Hunter. I love Hunter, man. This game is really heated up. Hearing ships. Ooh, cannon galleons here from yellow. That's sneaky. If he times it right, he could start to take out all of Orange's buildings and Orange will have nothing. I think Purple does see this, though. Ooh, very attentive. Very attentive. Gray uh, wasn't really able to make, make much progress here. This is funny. Masty is making a new TC so he can produce more vills to finish the Wonder. The Wonder is at 7%. Like, by the time this wonder completes, Purple might have won with the wonder already. It's going to really be a long-term thing. Into the rams, the berserks go. Loading them up. There's also going to be a hundred paladins here. Hanna galleons will not accomplish too much here for yellow. But is there enough cavalier and Genoese crossbow to defend here? Masty hasn't chatted to anyone in a long time, but reaches out to Orange now, who was his friend before. And says, hey, Orange, I think we should probably stop Perp's Wonder. 
If we do, I'll delete mine. What, the wonder that's going to be built in 6,000 years? Yeah, he's real worried about that one. Still a good tactic here. And Orange did bring it up earlier that this could be a problem. Orange was also quick to respond to Masty. Orange also believes it's going to be impossible to kill Masty. So there's lots of reasons why Orange may consider this deal. If Yellow isn't a player who could be stopped, maybe the angle is take care of the others first. So, Orange says, Perp, can you delete Wonder? Ooh. <laughs> it is a tad stressful. <laughs> oh, this is funny. Let's see what Purple says. I mean, you've waited so long. Gray says, or we delete it for you. Oh, wow. Oh, man, Purple. Uh, I, like how, I like how Orange is like, Though I do appreciate its artistry. He's like, listen, bro. Not trying to be rude. Gray uh, currently has 900 gold in the bank. And Yellow said, how's everyone, resor how's everyone resources looking? And Gray said, never better. Love it. Purple has not said anything. He says, I love you, my friends. This is as far as we go. What does that mean? What does that mean? What are you going to do? Oh, God. Wait, what? He wants to win it for himself. He will not delete his wonder. Oh, God. He, he thinks he can do it. He's at 100 years. And this is amazing for Masty, of course. And Orange is going to inform the people what's just happened. And now Masty seeks an alliance with the others. He immediately allies Orange. Now, Orange is currently in the midst of battle. Let's see if Hunter can do this. The Paladins are wrecking this. Hunter will only lose one castle. And let's see if Hunter, he, he's, he's all on his own here, can get this win. Oh, God. Uh, I mean... <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, didn't take very long, Hunter. <laughs> and Hunter... I don't think Hunter even knows this... Huntress is for the content! <laughs> oh, this is content, all right. He's repairing it. He took out some trebs. Yes. Oh, go, 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 go. No. Oh, Hunter. Hunter says, I have made a mistake. <laughs> that took, what, like 20 seconds? And now... Orange is allied with Masty. So what happens? Like, when Purple has to explain himself. He says, you guys know I didn't mean it, right? Now look at this. Masty says, I'll stop making mine. But that's not deleting. That's stopping at 50%. He's still making Vils. Gray now allies Yellow. So they're all going to go against Hunter now. Well, I, I mean, we can't blame him, right? I think the play from Hunter was a really good choice. I think it was worth the attempt. Um, I think he waited too long, though. But I f he felt like he had to move because he was being asked to delete it. And he didn't want to do that. Also, props to Masty for, for bringing that up, right? That discussion only started because of Masty. Hunter says, hold on, everyone. I have to text my wife. Okay, so Hunter might not be a very good ally in game, but he's a very, very good husband. So uh, his wife has asked him, you know, did you pick up the, the cucumbers from the grocery store? And Hunter probably forgot because he didn't read the list. He thought he could remember it all. Hunter is now going to ally Orange and ally Gray again. So that was a short text. And, uh, you know, it seems like everyone's flipped on Masty again, and Masty's gonna go build this wonder again. Which, again, makes sense. You build the wonder, your top score. You should be the focus from everyone. Remember, the other three... <laughs> Guys, the other three don't have gold income. And now, purple is wonderless. And now, yellow's gonna have a wonder. And yellow doesn't have to defeat anyone. He just has to survive. Yellow's gonna win this game. 
Unless someone sacrifices their king. That is the only way. Look at the stockpiles again. Zero gold workers for gray. Zero gold workers for orange. Now, they could, in theory, drop markets and trade. But they haven't done that yet, so they're not going to do that ever. Yeah. They can't push and kill this wonder easily. They would have to kill Yellow's King. The only way to kill Yellow's King or to get to that wonder is maybe by using someone else's King. But I don't want to get too far ahead of myself because the wonder's not even completed yet, right? Someone says, this is why I'm still single. Why? Because you don't stop Age of Empires to text your wife? Yeah, um, listen, I... <clears throat> I'm not necessarily proud of this, but, uh... <laughs> Guys, with frequency, I'm missing texts from my fiance, my family members, my friends, because of Age of Empires. So I don't know if that's it. Purple says, we have to do something, though, everyone. T90 is getting impatient, I am sure. And then he says only to us. I tried, chat. I'm sorry. What, did your wife tell you that I... Is your wife watching? Did she say I'm impatient? You know, I've never liked that T90 guy. He's... Honey? Time to give up your king. That's probably what she just texted him. But no, they're running out of resources here. I don't know. I don't think your wife sounds like that, Hunter. I'm sorry. Orange says, I do believe this game hasn't been woefully unentertaining. I hate it when players try and be like, this game hasn't been good or t 90s going to be upset. I hate it because if the game hasn't been good and I've been working my hardest to make sure it's good, then people become aware, right? That I've been deceiving them. This has been a good game. Very rarely do I have to use the... Do I really have to up the entertainment value to the point where... I feel like it goes beyond the game. Usually the games are pretty good. Alright. They're going to try their best to make a move here. But I think Hunter is scared to make a move with these Paladins because of the amount of Genoese crossbowmen that are out there. Arn says, if either of you are willing to explode, you can put your king into a ram, and I can take it to his base. Gray says, I'm good. <laughs> Gray's like, nah, not for me, bro. <laughs> this is like the fourth time that Arn just tried to encourage someone else to send their king, but not him. <laughs> uh, Hunter seems down, though. Hunter says, if I do not succeed my push, I sell sacrifice. Yeah, I mean, if you were to pick somebody, picking the guy who's making paladins against Genoese crossbow, and the guy who probably needs to text his wife is probably a good play. All right. Gray seems really confident. Gray is like saying that Masty's out of gas. I mean, there's 300 years. The wonder's not that far away. The Imp Skirmishers with the Light Cab and the Great Siege Control from Gray has done a great job. Why do I feel like Orange is going to backstab somebody here? Like, yeah, this feels very backstabby. The Zerks and Arbs on the way. It could just be where he's producing from. Here comes Hunter. Now, by the way, you can't put Kings in Rams. What uh, they said is incorrect. Oh, God, we've got Petards. Okay. I mean, may maybe there's a chance. That's a lot of petards there. The paladins are all melting, though. Okay, through the wall. Through the barracks now. And then for the wonder, maybe? Ooh, okay. I mean, if he tasks these trebs onto the wonder, he has a chance here, guys. There's still enough paladins. Gray is... is, is it also gives an opportunity for him to push from the other side. He is getting focused down by bombard cannons, but... There go the trebs. Here go the trebs. Can he take the wonder? 280 years from Asty. Paladins are here to support. You sacrifice all the paladins. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. The trebs are... There's not enough space. There's not enough space. Disaster. Pain. Pain. He's getting a couple shots off. It's not going to be enough. The wonder is immediately being repaired. Nice job here from Asty. Most of the paladins are gone. The condos finished off the trebs. It was a good play from Hunter. But again, Gray is still making some progress on the other side. Gray says, we have you surrounded. I love how confident Liam is. He says, come out with your hands up. I don't think Macy's going to do that. 
It's funny how confident Gray is and how doom and gloom orange and purple are. <laughs> <They look. laughs> that purple, I think, tried to garrison inside of a ram, and it didn't work. Yeah, I wish you could. So we found out in this game, guys, that you can't put kings in siege towers and rams. Hunter says, I'm sending everything. I really appreciate Hunter's commitment here. Uh, I also appreciate all the subs and support today, guys. Sorry, I missed some names here. Villagers, this is everything. There they go. To their deaths. Anything for the cause. Uh, thank you, D1000 for the year. Just to Earl, Philip, Harry, uh, Siraj, Zenith, you King. Uh, I've missed a couple names. Thank you, Baskets. Appreciate you all. Yes. Hunter says... If you can clear the hole I made, I will blow the king up there. I mean, the gap is still there for now, but Macy's rewalling it. They just can't see that. Wait. Did Orange have, does Orange have spies? Wait, Orange is still allied with yellow. Oh, shoot. I for, Wait, I forgot about that. Yeah, Orange hasn't fought yellow in a long time. Hunter says, I have not the resources to continue. This is my last hurrah. Well, yeah, I mean, you need to you need to hurrah a bit faster here because it's getting rewalled now. Hmm. It's Sir Rage, my good sir. Okay, sorry, Sir Rage. There's two there's there's you, you can't get upset. There's too many R's and S's, it's confusing. Okay, yellow sees this because, of course, he's been allied with orange, so he can't trust him now. Purple's king is ready to be sacrificed. Orange says he's sealing my bat. I will reopen. Okay, so he's going to try and get everything into the rams here and then ram down those walls. I'm pretty sure the king would die. Wait, where is the king? Ooh, the king is here and is also an opening. He may have set the rally point here. I want to see what Maesty can see. Mm, Macy did, me all your resources, does so not know there's a king. Gray just used... was 58? What was that? Send me all your resources? I love when people use those taunts. I, I don't have them memorized myself. Here we go. Oh, God. Oh, God. He's still allied with him. Oh, this is what you get for betraying your squad. And yellow calls him out. Oh, embarrassing. This has got an enemy, orange. And Hunter says, be well, my king. I still don't see the king moving. Didn't enemy LMAO major goof. Well, Orange, you said it, not me. Gray is out of gas. Purple's out of gas. Macy is 200 years till he wins this game. Hey, Orange, this would be a great time for someone to, I don't know, use their king on somebody. You want to consider that, or are you just going to tell everybody else to do it? <laughs> Because <laughs> it seems like every time Orange is struggling, he just continues to play. But when other people are having a tough time, he just volunteers their kings. Yeah, big inexperience from all three of them not to trade, though. Like, there's nothing from Yellow out there to stop the trade. They clearly have enough gold to make army. If they all three had trade, there's no way Yellow wins this, and it goes on. Like, the, the game plays out a lot differently. Gray says, someone's got to explode on him all over his face. <laughs> and purple does not want to be that person. Now, Orange apologizes. This is yellow, as you can see. By the lack of damage to your beautiful walls, I truly meant no harm. <laughs> that's, that's an underrated line. <laughs> it wasn't a mistake. It was intentional. <laughs> Uh, I love how they think it's the relics that brought Masty the gold, right? He is down to 30k, so they've made some progress. Macy's just being honest. He says, I had 90k gold when this all started. Yeah, all because of trade. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Here we go, people. Here we go. King's on the move. Yellow can see it. Hunter, don't scream a war cry so Yellow gets a heads up. 
He says for Super Earth. And Hunter dies. Now, this is borderline for the King and the Wonder. This could be close enough. Macy says, I don't know if that's in range. And he's going to pray about it. But the King, to my knowledge, is still inside that tower. The King is moving. Will the Wonder go down? I think he actually loses this Wonder. It's going to be so close. The Wonder dies! And the base goes down. And the other two have a chance now. It was amazing from Hunter to sacrifice himself. He's pumped. He screams about it. And while there's still gold, Macy can reclaim these relics. He has a much tinier base now. Nice job there from Hunter. <laughs> Grace is rip bozo. Okay. So here comes Orange again. Now, Orange, learn the lesson before. You have to enemy people before you attack them. There's no castles anymore for Macy, so he can't make Genoese. And Reckless Sarge is still here. <laughs> and just randomly screams glory to the red team. <laughs> Sarge has been dead for two hours and has not closed the game yet. <laughs> Thank you, Sarge. All right, new wonder is being constructed and now deleted. Macy feels like that's his only opportunity to win this game. And Gray comes in with elephants, but not a whole lot else. The elephants will die. But here comes Orange, and there's the wonder again for Macy. You know, if Yellow does get killed, Orange and Gray are not going to be able to kill each other. Like, they're in a bad spot when it comes to resources. I guess they could fight over these relics, but like... I'm still not convinced Orange's Yellow is going to go down. Um, I mean, down to 22k gold, obviously, it's a lot lower than 90k. Booty Co. could be an issue at only 9k. But they didn't really coordinate these attacks. It's like Gray attacks and loses everything. Now Orange attacks. There's just skill differences here. And Orange... Okay, there we go. It's attacking the walls. is going to be through eventually. And the idea here is the Rams tank a lot. And you need to hop out. That's the key. You you, you really don't want to... Yeah, that's it. You hop out when units getting close ahead of time. And then the Rams are still tanking a lot of shots from before. This is a decent fight. I mean, if Gray was coming in on the other side right now, this would be awesome. Progress is being made. It shouldn't be enough to finish off Yellow. Just remember, Yellow can't make any more Genoese crossbow though. Those 50, though, have killed 200 units. And at the end of the day, you broke down a wall. You killed a couple barracks. But that's the extent of it here. And you're going to need to muster up more of a force. King for yellow is over here now. Gray's coming in with more elephants. But I, I worry that they will run out of gold. Macy can actually win this game. That's crazy to think about. But like... There's Gray... And, uh, like, Gray doesn't even have good wood food eco, right? There's not even a lot of trees left on the map. There's, there's, he's there, he's found some. So he can't even, like, make that many skirms. Orange says to Gray, I will not lie, Gray. I have not been faithful. Oh, <laughs> uh, what if that was Hunter talking to his wife? <laughs> that freaked me out for a second. I was like, Hunter! Uh, but no, it's, it's Orange instead. Um, so Orange is confessing and says, I wish to repay this by working towards the greater good. Okay. Gray says, have you been cheating on me? And Orange says, yes. And I don't know if this is going to help Gray at all. Maybe it's for Orange's own conscience that he's apologizing here. But Orange is planning on using the king in a show of good faith to an old friend Arn says, yes, I've been cheating on you with four people. <laughs> Listen, maybe don't be so specific. You know, I think the specifics are going to just lead to more hurt. This is already a tough time. Here comes the king. The king is being escorted. And he's brought his two pet pigs along to die with him. And if the king gets close enough, this could finish Masty. Where's the king going? The king needs to get as close as possible and he is killed. And now Macy witnessed that, and Macy deletes the wonder, 
has to get his king out of that tower fast and needs to run away. But Masty won't have a base anymore. Also, Gray has an opportunity to maybe snipe the king because the king has to run this way. Go, 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 Can't get the king. Explosion will happen. Oh my god, Macy's got nothing! <laughs> this is what is left of his base! This is his base now! <laughs> the beautiful fortification that he had has turned into this. And he's gonna reboom. <laughs> he still owns the rights to these lands. And here comes Grey with his skirms. I mean, Grey knows the king is there. Thankfully for the king, there is still one tower... And that king can sit in there. And it's still like... Masty now has a 1v1. He still has resources. I actually think Masty can still win this game. Let's see. How many vills does Masty have? It says 16 eco. Some of that like leftover vills. Okay, some vills are coming from over here. These guys haven't been home for a long time. They've gotten a call. Yeah. Gray is 44 eco. Masty is 16. It's not great for either. Stockpile, though. Masty has more food. Not as many on food, but more food and 12k gold. And I just... The Genoese crossbow condo combination is so strong. Masty seems confident. Is asking Gray about resources. And Gray <laughs> responded with this before. When asked, how are the resources? Says, never been better. Oh! 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 Trebs! Trebs! Trebs for the tower! Oh, God! Sorry, I saw those Trebs here a second ago. Um, But I, I thought that they were, like, left over from purple. Or from orange or something. This tower is going to be repaired now. And, um... Actually, it's the wall that's being repaired, so that's a bit wasteful. I think Macy wins this game. Somehow. Which is just crazy. I actually think he does. The, the issue with a reboom at this stage, it's like, where do you reboom? Where do you go? But he can get four relics. Um, He just needs more production buildings. And he needs some siege. Like, some bomber cannons could be good. And he's building another wonder. <laughs> he's building another wonder. Yeah, so this is now puts Gray under some pressure. Wow. Yeah, like, there are TCs around for Masty. In theory, you could send villagers to farms and whatnot, but... And yeah, maybe with a little bit of combination from the others. Like, maybe that's what the, the other players lacked, is, like, coordinating attacks. But they did go in time and time again. I think what they really missed for a while there was Trebs. They had the Siege Rams, but having Trebs with the Siege Rams would have been really helpful. Will Grey call it? Grace says, this is taking too long, unless you have low res. I don't know what comes next. But Grace says, in that case, maybe I can kill you. I mean, it, you know, the production buildings are there for Gray. But I just don't know if Gray has the resources anymore. Every time I look at Gray's stockpile, it's not looking great. Not to make the type of units that you would need. You need a combination of units here. Masty, being honest with the amount of resources remaining. Prepare to train a large army. I'll send you as many resources as I can spare. <laughs> and Masty probably realizing he's got this win now. Now, when it's a 1v1, you can't use your king anymore. You can't go delete your king and, and hope to explode somebody. And Gray, I think, is going to give it up here, guys. And Macy's going to end up winning. Remember, gray was allied with yellow for a long time. So was orange. So was purple. It was They were the original team. They eventually had to turn against yellow, who built this beautiful little base. Macy was never mean or rude. He was always you know, a good teammate. They're apologizing now as well. Um, Liam is asking for a kiss. And um, Macy now types out moi. Moments like this, I'm reminded this is this is my job. Saying those words was actually my job, and boom! Game ends. Masty wins. He lost multiple wonders. He lost his, his whole starting eco. He maybe planned for that. He lost his 
most of his cute little base he built over here. But he planned for this, guys. He planned for this. He knew that at some point he was going to need a bank of resources. And that's why he traded like a madman while he could. He took that good alliance setup he had and he ran with it here. 130k gold brought in from trade. So when the going is good, take advantage of it. There was also 14k gold that came in from those four relics over the course of a long game. Other people really struggled with trade. Now, I think in the case of Sarge, Mira, and Crackers, they were just outnumbered. It was five against them. They can't be... I, I can't be too critical of, of the fighting and, and situations there. Uh, some people would have loved to have had um, maybe their kings go in towards other people's bases, but even that was going to be difficult. At the end of the day, what they needed was they needed to reach out to Grey. They needed to reach out to Deadly Cookie. One of those players would have worked out. Uh, you know, maybe it would have made it more of a 4v4. Maybe their trade route would have been better. But um, I want to say really well played to the players uh, on the team of five, right? They they formed the team of five. They then had very interesting gameplay and chatter from there. Uh, Hunter's chatter back and forth was hilarious. Uh, I mean, I can't say their names. Liam, L L L L you know, Orange, uh, their chat was hilarious. Deadly Cookie got surprised. Uh, it seemed like they showed enough loyalty, but also enough respect to, to the game uh, and what they needed to do. But man, oh man, oh man. Hunter's wonder... Let's not forget, he had a wonder below 100 years. He turned. He he said the words, guys. He said to the world, this is my time. Sorry, everybody. And then he didn't see, like, five trebs. <laughs> From Macy, he didn't see, like, five trebs just roll right in and take out his wonder. Macy didn't even have his army there. It was just the trebs. Oh, man. I think, you know, between that and Orange forgetting to, you know, turn on Macy at times, there was some relatable stuff uh, that happened in this game. So, of course, if you enjoyed this game, uh, leave a comment, leave a like on YouTube, uh, or don't. I don't know. Come back, watch the next one. But it was a good one. Good cast, uh, I hope, anyways. And, uh, again, Macy just survived the long term by prepping. Macy was a prepper. Everyone said... Life is great. Nothing could ever go wrong. And Masty said, well, it might go might go south someday. So let me just stuff a lot of uh, trade carts full of gold underneath my mattress for a rainy day and trust no one. Um, not only mined a lot of stone, but also bought a lot of stone, remember. Um, the price to buy stone was really expensive because Masty was using all his early gold to buy stone. So good stuff.